what's up guys i hope this video finds you doing great today uh side note if you if you hear a little background noise over there to, to to my left it's my little australian shepherd she loves to to chew on her bone very loudly whenever i'm in my room uh, in this room trying to record content so that's just one of the things that we gotta that we gotta overcome and deal with but uh anyways today we're going to talk about coach marion coach brendan marion and why i personally personally believe that he is maybe the single biggest addition to the Texas football program outside of Steve Sarkeesian, obviously, uh, maybe dating back to the last five to seven years, maybe even beyond that. And uh, I'm going to read you guys a tweet. Actually, before I do that, I'll, I'll point you guys, if, if, if you're interested, to learn a little bit more about Coach Marion and his timeline, his upbringing, basically starting out from his early childhood all the way up through his high school and college playing days, and then through his early coaching career up until this point, Texas Homer did a fantastic job of kind of outline, outlining his uh, his story, really, uh, for, for, for Coach Marion, that is. Uh, so I won't bore you with those details because it would honestly be kind of a disservice to that production uh, to, to really try and, and do it better than, than Texas Homer did. He just did such a great job. So... Um, and Coach Marion even said so. I, I noticed that he had like retweeted that that link that Texas Homer put out and said, "Wow, man, you honestly nailed everything." So that just goes to show you right there that 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 he did his full due diligence. So if you're interested, go check that out after you listen to this video if you haven't already seen that one. But this is a tweet that that really stood out to me, and I'll explain why after I read it. And it's basically a picture of of Coach Marion embracing and, and like hugging one of his former players. Uh, it's just. Pure jubilation, obviously. So the picture tells a thousand words, but then then his caption to the picture, and you can find this on his timeline. It says, I show a player love first before I give him discipline. Correction without connection leads to collapse. So basically he's saying that it, you have to be able to connect with your players. And this is something that I actually tweeted about a few days prior to me seeing this. And then so that's, that's why it really stood out to me. And I was like, okay, that's that's a sign Got to do a video about this and try to just talk about it as best as I can. So to me, you have to learn what makes your players click. You've got to know what makes them tick, uh, how to resonate with them, how to get across to them. Not all players are created equal, which means not all players can be coached the same. You've got to, you've got to really learn what, how they learn and, and what type of approach to have in order to get your, to get your point across, to be able to teach. Uh, as a coach, that is. And so he's saying correction without connection leads to collapse. So what he prioritizes first then, and the, the, the final sentence of that tweet is connection first, then correction leads to championships effort. So lots of C's, like, like wordplay there, but this is why I love it. It's because he really understands the psychology of sport. And me being self-proclaimed, obviously, uh, a sports psychology guy, like I said, it resonates well with me. And, and I don't want to make that sound like an oversimplification of, of, again, why he is so crucial to this program because him, and, along with Tashar Choice, being able to really just jive with these players. And you can see it in the way he talks. Like, that's a guy, when you listen to him speak, Coach Marion, that is, you understand and you, you, you can hear very clearly he's a guy that's got it figured out. Uh, and, and so that just goes to show to me that, again, the importance of this hire is much, much bigger than just being able to lure in to these top recruits. It's the relationship that he builds once those said top recruits enter, you know, their college years and are on campus and kind of under his uh his umbrella, if you will, for their time for their time there on the 40 acres now. That's where that's where the true growth really happens. So he's he's basically telling you here that he understands like you gotta collect, connect with these kids first and foremost before before anything. And and he really understands that psychology. So like if you're if you're ex expecting a kid, you know you're to to do what you ask of him first, but he doesn't understand, or you can't you can't communicate that you have his best interest at hand. You're just you know you're trying to say, hey, it's my way or the highway, and that's it, without getting him to understand why you're teaching why you're teaching that way. Then it really your message kind of gets lost, and and. It, it's it's less of an incentive for a, for a player to really go above and beyond to play for you for his teammates and 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 for the program as a whole and you know again another thing that I love about Coach Marion what he says in this further further cements that thought process that I have about him is that 
I think it, I forget the exact quote, so I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. So forgive me on that. But he said, how you play without the ball, like this is his mantra. And, and another thing that's highlighted in Texas Homer's video. So shout out to him again, but how you play without the ball dictates or determines how much you love your teammates. So this is all sports psychology guys. Like it's like rallying, rallying a, a community, a band of brothers and, and, understanding how they how they work because coach Marion has the same exact background and thought process he connects with them and so he understands how to rally these players and get them to play as one and i've said in recent videos too it's 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 t e a m over i and that's you know again that's cliche whatever you can say whatever you want but a bunch of individuals playing for themselves achieves nothing and so the the sports psychology component of getting everybody to, to, to buy in first by understanding how they click, how to connect with them and, and, and to really get them to understand that he really does love them and have their best interests at hand. I'm not saying these other coaches don't. I'm just telling you, listening to Coach Marion speak, reading the, some of the stuff that he says, the way that he communicates, he's very active on all the socials. The players see that and they love that and they respect that. So they, 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 vibe, they vibe really well. I'm already seeing all kinds of feedback in a positive way from players on campus. I've, I've even spoken to Troy O'Meary. I'll get some more information on that as well uh, before I, before I, you know, I'll, that's probably going to be a totally separate video, but I have been speaking with him as well. And I, I just, I love what I'm hearing. So I'll leave it at that guys. Uh, don't forget to check out that tweet and, and honestly just give coach Marion a follow. Cause he's active on there. You get a, you get a real good feel for what he's about. And then uh, if you're interested in learning more about the entire timeline of, of how he got here and what makes him him uh, to, to this point, I would encourage you to check out Texas Homer's video as well today. And I'll also go ahead and say uh, it's, we're about it's 4 o'clock right now at the time of this recording. So here in about two hours, we'll be getting together for our second official YouTube roundtable with a bunch of the other Texas uh, content creators, guys like Texas Football Talk, Fanatic Perspective, uh, Texas Homer will be joining us and uh, around the sports Around the Table Sports, ATS uh, with Ty Hayes. He's kind of going to be the one that's hosting it. So, um, yeah, man, we got our full our full circle of of, uh, of brothers behind the scenes all coming in. So I'm excited for that. Here in about two hours at 6 o'clock, I think we'll be recording. So hopefully we'll have that posted again tonight. It might be live. I'm not exactly sure what Ty has planned. Um, but, yeah, looking forward to that. So that's all I got. Wanted to talk about that tweet, how much that means to me, what I think about it. So let me know what you guys think is, uh, you know, is it, is it just fancy wordplay or is it a little bit bigger? I, in my opinion, it's, it's, uh, it's much more of the former as opposed to the latter. So uh, remember today only happens once. Don't waste it. Make the most of it. And as always guys, hook them. Thank y'all for watching.